So hello and welcome. My name is Angie Hensley. I am faculty at the College of Nursing. Um, I'm going to be talking to you all about tonight about what I've learned and incorporated into my courses um, here at the College of Nursing. My background is 10 years in the adult ICU and 10 years as a liver transplant and uh, liver hepatology nurse practitioner. So teaching is new to me. So as you see, I have my note cards here and luckily, fortunately, I teach in the RN to BSN online. Um, so I don't really have to present as of yet to students. Um, so needless to say, I was very fortunate and excited to get into this program. Um, I was getting ready to start my first capstone course. Um, teaching online here and I was setting my very first course up within two weeks after the um, workshop started. So I've got lots of good support from, from everybody at the workshop and I was very grateful. Um, I learned how to create um, Canvas videos and included YouTube videos and um, enjoyed lots of great experts there. So I enjoyed all of our FLC monthly meetings. I learned lots of great information from um, the community. I quickly learned what worked well, what didn't work well, and what I, what I needed to change and revise um, in those. Um, after the three-day workshop and the uh, monthly FLC meetings, I was much better prepared and ready to hit the ground running with enhancing my courses. I learned from faculty in our FLC that it was not only important in online courses to make weekly announcements, but it was important to also include audio and video announcements as well to make a presence and make sure the student is no, that the student knows that you are there and available to them. I quickly realized that I needed to have rubrics into my course. Just saying great job wasn't going to be good enough, so I did get many different rubrics. Um, from the program and started incorporating those for every assignment into my course. I wanted to uh, incorporate group work into my courses. Um, the students tended to not like that at first. I kind of got negative feedback, but I did feel strongly about the importance of nursing students being able to manage and learn from dynamics of working in a group. So I did let the students um, choose their topics and then I put them into groups of about four to five students um, based on similar topics. They seem, seemed to do much better when they were able to choose their topics versus just being given a topic. I reviewed over many peer evaluation tools. I knew I wanted to use a peer evaluation tool and this is the peer evaluation tool that I chose. Um, students evaluated themselves and then every member of the group. The first few weeks, the students um, were giving each other zeros and saying that their peers were not responding. Um, but after the first few weeks, they started scoring each other very well and, and seemed to all be um, engaged. By the end of the eight week course, the projects that came to together very well. The students had developed great projects. They presented their projects to their peers. Um, some of the projects that they presented were uh, 24, 24 hour ICU visitation and uh, allowing family in the room during codes. I knew I wanted to incorporate discussion boards into my courses um, and I found out from one of our uh, FLC peers that this didn't need to be done every week. It just uh, try to spread those out a little bit and the students would enjoy them much more. Um, I learned from Mr. Bill Burke during the three day workshop um, that, that my slides needed to be revised. Um, so I quickly started uh, working on those. I knew I didn't want to do them all at once, as he said, but I did choose the um, current topics that I was working on and started on um, hepatitis C and uh, liver cirrhosis and actually use these in my clinic as well for teaching purposes, not only with the students but with the clinic patients. So our, our FLC developed a um, faculty panel discussion on student motivation and engagement online and I hope that you all can come and join us and it's going to be on April 25th here on campus. The support of the Eli Grant and our FLC has been wonderful. We had great discussions, shared tips and suggestions, and gathered best evidence-based practice articles on many different topics. This is, has helped to develop me into becoming a more well-rounded faculty member. I was able to use funds from the grant to obtain a computer, which has helped me to become more efficient with my online courses, and also um, is going to allow me to go to an online teaching conference, hopefully this summer. Thank you all. I've got great support from our um, FLC, um, from the workshop, the grant, and thank you all for coming tonight as well.